So what's going on everybody? J.A. here. Salute to you for tuning in. You're watching John Alexander TV. Now today we're talking the Jordan 11 Legend Blue, the classic OG Jordan 11. Some of you guys may refer to them as the Columbias, which we did actually see Nike hit us with a good old-fashioned shock drop yesterday via the sneakers app. So I feel like this was a genius move, of course, while everybody was stressing about the big Travis Scott release. You probably had hundreds of thousands of eyes on the sneakers app trying to get them Travis joints, which of course were super limited. So for everybody that missed out on that pair, I feel like this was a great consolation prize. So very smart move from Nike, which when we know when it comes to these annual holiday Jordan 11 releases, the rumors are that they massively produce these. So it would make sense for Nike to want to move a good chunk of these units ahead of the official release day, which I believe these are going to be dropping sometime in December. Now, as far as yesterday's shock drop, or you may even want to call it a shock flop because low key, I really didn't see anybody talking about these except for resellers complaining that this Jordan brand classic was already going for under retail on secondary apps such like StockX. you guys already know now at the end of the day when you factor in the fees and everything like that for a sneaker which is going for under retail on these apps it's gonna bring them up to retail anyway so my question for you would you rather get these directly officially from Nike knowing your joints are 100% authentic or would you run the risk of grabbing fakes through apps such as StockX? legend blues yeah. uh, ahead no. of the December release date Shock drop. I actually got this notification like 15 minutes early and sure enough, I went right, I tapped the notification and they were sitting right there. And it was crazy because I didn't hear anybody talking about it. Any success on today's drop? Because I'm not even gonna lie. I was, it was a snooze fest for me on this one right here, but Listen. no disrespect to the OG. These is nothing to be worried about right now. These would mm. be easy to get. On release day. Oh, so like you might, you're probably gonna go back, double back on these and get them. Um, is what you're trying to say? It's not a, it's not a shoe, it's not a shoe that I need, but. Wait, wait, uh. uh so you are, you're passing or you are you copying, bro? Sounds like you kind of walk dancing around the question. Yeah. I'm this is a legendary that. Jordan, bro. The whole Chicago is watching uh, you right now. I might just yeah, right. For now. What, you gonna I move? Uh-uh. Mm. No. I ain't going nowhere. So it's a pass for now. Right now. Okay. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, nah, chat, he dancing. Another, chat, he yeah. dancing around the question. I want to say it was, what, 2014 when they dropped? Yeah, 2014. Yeah, yeah it was him. 10 years ago, I think. Yep. Crazy, yep. man. And I'm going to just say right here that that shoe is like oh. a dust magnet and it looks horrible when it gets like any type of dirt on it like any looking yeah. smudge anything yeah, yeah it just it looks needs horrible to be clean. Yeah. but but <laughs> this version from what i've seen it has a material change mm. so the mesh if i'm not mistaken has been now replaced with the leather Oh right, yeah. Yeah, so that's a big game changer as far as like the joint staying fresh and clean and everything like that because yeah. it is pretty much an all white shoe. So I think that's a big improvement. Um but then again I gotta see it in person. It's a beautiful sneaker though. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, yeah. what do they call that? Ballistic mesh man if the wind blows too hard you'll have a permanent stain on them things. Facts, Mr. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if it's black, you're good, rock them. Yeah, but like, yeah, if it's a white upper with that ballistic mesh, man, it is so unforgiving. Shout out to Reggie, still got the 2014 pair. So moral of the story, rock what you like. We all know that if Jordan brand Nike were to make this sneaker limited, then everybody would just be complaining that they didn't make enough pairs. Now, what I can agree with is that the retail price is a little bit too steep coming in at 230. And what I'm even more concerned about is where Jordan brand is gonna take the pricing for this sneaker. If they're 230 this year, what, 240 next year, 250, 260? Like, is this the direction that we're taking it? So as far as the Jordan 11, 
11 overall. We know that this is always like a big holiday annual release. And old heads, they've been buying these up every year, even sometimes buying up like full size runs or full pairs for everybody in the family. You guys know the annual holiday tradition, but let's just keep it real, man. Like in 2024, these joints are not hitting the same like the last time they dropped, which I want to say was like 2014 or something like that. 10 years ago, things have changed. The trends, they come and go. But at the end of the day, guys, this is a Jordan brand classic. The 11, just like if you watch MJ play back in the day, you already know what time it is. I don't know if they hit the same for like the younger kids or whatever, but if you were back around when MJ was playing back in 96, 97, or it was 95, 96, yeah, you already know what time it is when it comes to the 11s. Oh, and let's not even get started with Space Jam. So at the end of the day, Columbia's Legend Blues, whatever you want to call them, a great all-time Jordan brand classic. So let's see what Jordan brand decides to take the 11 come next year. 